are the scariest kids' toys ever. In today's video, we show you the most dangerous kids' toys ever and even show you crazy kids' toys that have been banned. We are trying over 100 banned Amazon products. And the more products we try, the crazier and scarier these items get. Watch to the very end of today's video to see the craziest items yet. But only watch the video if you want to get scared. You have been warned. Cuddle Nuggy Plush with Blanket plus updated family hoodie available now at shopalexia.com. Scary toys. I don't know if you've ever seen something really spooky before or something that just made you go, ugh. Oh, wait, family, you have? And you guys while watching my video? You're saying that I'm the spooky one? Oh, man. Well, fine. I guess not scary toys are the only thing we're going to be looking at today. You'll be looking at my cursed face, too. Enjoy. Today, we're going to be looking at some of the scariest toys that you've ever seen before. But you might get to see them soon. Because trust me, family, they're haunted and they're probably going to show up at your doorstep. Or under your bed. Oh. Smash like on this video if you want to get an unexpected toy as a surprise. I heard if this video gets to 8,000 likes, then you might get a little present. From your family, not me. Chill, family. I don't got money like that. Maybe I'll send you a piece of bubble gum or something. Also, comment down below your favorite toy. I think maybe mine would be a Frisbee because I get to hit people with it. Oopsies. Look at these toys, family, and tell me that those are not the spookiest things that you have ever seen. Apparently, they're supposed to be angels, but I don't know how because they look like they've just risen from the dead. These are called cherubs, and they're an electronic toy that would actually speak to you. So what you would do is you would buy the toy, plug the toy in, and then they would proceed to curse your whole life. Because they would say some pretty bad things. I thought angels are supposed to bring you luck, but I think that these things would only bring you pain or maybe even bring you close to the ground because uh i think they're trying to bring you to hell these things were so scary that they had to stop being sold because they literally gave too many kids nightmares and panic attacks call the kids babies all you want but you're telling me that that thing is gonna watch over you sleeping and you're gonna feel safe those things might have been marketed as a toy but i don't think they got any intention to play killing on the other hand Probably, yeah. Meet Barry the Bear. No, he's not a raspberry or a strawberry. Come on, family, get your head out of your stomach. It's not time to eat yet. This thing might seem like a regular toy from first glance, but uh, why don't you look a little closer? No, closer. No, even closer. Cause that thing's about to eat you with his mouth. But not just any regular bear mouth. Not just a stuffed animal mouth. A human mouth. Cause those teeth you're looking at? Yeah, they're real human teeth. I'm not kidding. Somehow someone figured out that the teeth that were coming inside of these bears were from real people and not just made out of plastic. Tell me how they figured this out, I don't know. But after they did figure it out, they immediately stopped selling these toys. Cause we should probably figure out where the teeth are coming from. Are they taking those teeth from dead bodies? Or are they just stealing it from grandpa every time he takes a big bite of that crunchy apple? Cause y'all know he'd be missing teeth after that. Believe me, the apple wasn't too happy about it either. Does somebody want to explain what the flip this is? This dude looks like something I would have drawn on a pen and paper in kindergarten. Circle for the head and then lines for the whole body. That's obviously how real people look, duh. But seriously, I don't know what the idea behind this doll was. Are you a dude who lost his body in a tragic accident? Or are you just a dude who got put on an all smoothie diet and lost a little bit too much weight? Because you've been looking skinny, bro. Too skinny. For the love of God, just eat a potato or something. Or a piece of bread. I heard cinnamon raisin is pretty tasty so maybe try that but to make matters even worse he's literally called skinny bones is this supposed to be funny because really it just looks scary it's easy it's fun just push them together push what together oh you mean his skinny bones that are literally about to crack if i touch them yeah i don't think so but he's one big gush of wind away from falling into an inevitable doom yeah i mean oofing like dead Cause he's fragile. Oh yeah, and did I forget to mention that there's also a dog version too? Cause if starving your kid wasn't enough already, let's do it to the family pet too. He can't bark anymore if he doesn't have no neck. Problem solved. 
As if we didn't already hate clowns enough, let me introduce you to Clyde the Clown. A very sad looking dude with uh, even more questionable clothes and a witch's broomstick for some reason. Come on, Clyde, commit to one thing. Are you a witch or a clown? You can't mm. be both. But yeah, this toy started being sold into many different kids' toy stores around the world, I think. But after he went on the market, some families reported some very mysterious things happening in their house. Plates falling down on the ground in the middle of the night. We Weird, spooky noises. Lights being left on for no apparent reason right after they brought Clyde inside their homes. Hmm. So since people started becoming suspicious, one person decided to do the detective work themselves and they set up a hidden camera that was on all night to try and catch Clyde in the act. Look at this video, family. You can start seeing Clyde the clown's head moving when he thought nobody was there. Like, what the heck? Why are you moving your neck, Clyde? You're supposed to be a toy, Clyde. If you wanted to be a human so bad, then maybe you shouldn't have gone to clown school. Nobody told you you were allowed to be a possessed doll. That's just not cool. Don't make me take away your red squeaky nose. Because I swear to God, Clyde, if you break one more plate at night, I'm going to do it. This is a jack-in-a-box, and if you don't know what that is, it's pretty much a box with a handle on it, and you spin the handle, spin the handle, spin the handle. The box makes a little bit of noise, and then boom, out comes a creepy doll head. That, yeah, is pretty much always creepy looking. Sometimes it's even a spooky clown. Usually these boxes make some kind of song when you spin the handle, but these specific jack-in-the-box didn't make a beautiful song. They started saying really weird things. And not just kind of weird things, like threatening things. Like telling the kids that they were about to oof their mommies. And their daddies. And even their dogs. Mm. Although that's really creepy. I don't know why these jack-in-the-boxes felt like they can talk so much smack. Uh, excuse me, Jack. Did you forget that you're stuck in a box? One more word from you and I'm gonna boot you out into the middle of the ocean. Oh yeah, and since you're stuck in the box, you won't be able to swim. This person ordered a clown off the internet and then after it arrived, they found out that it wasn't a regular clown. It was a killer clown. You know, the ones that... People? Yeah, they'll oof you. Maybe even eat some of you first. Depends how hungry they are. I don't know why anyone would want to buy a haunted clown off the internet. And unless that person was already haunted themselves. But that thing just does not look right. And the worst part about this is apparently the box that the clown came in in the mail. Yeah, that box was covered with blood. Not ketchup, family blood. Probably from the clown's last victim. And oh, his next victim? Oh yeah, that's you. Good luck. This is a toy called a face bank. And y'all didn't even have to tell me that this was a scary toy because look at that thing. Warning or not, that thing looks cursed. Apparently it's a piggy bank that you just put money to its mouth and it goes and eats the cash. Talk about money hungry. That would be a fine idea for a toy, but the thing is, the toy didn't stop with the money. The toy has also been reported to eat human fingers, apparently. Instead of the toy just taking the money when you push the coins in, it was so hungry that it would just take your fingers too. I don't know what he's trying to take your fingers for, but he's eating kids' fingers like they're worth some kind of money or something. Like, bro, you think somebody's gonna pay me for this? You think I walk up to someone and say, hey, want to buy it. I can give it to you fresh or frozen. If you want it fresh, I can cut it off my hand and give it to you right now. No, nobody wants that. You really think that somebody wants a finger that's been up somebody else's nose? That's a prime boogie finger. To other people, gross, but to yourself, priceless. This is Baby Laugh-A-Lot. She's a doll that literally just would never stop laughing, which sounds kind of cute at first, but then after you live with her for a couple days, it gets, uh, let's just say annoying. But not only was the doll annoying, she also just constantly had this really weird look on her face that made you feel like she was up to no good. Some people even speculated that the doll wasn't even laughing, and she was actually just setting one giant curse on the whole family. People reported really bad things happening to them after they brought this doll into their homes. One family's home even completely burnt down to the ground the day after getting her. Coincidence? Yeah, I don't think so. Evil baby creepy laughy weird curse thing? Yeah, I think that's it. This is a cursed teddy bear. He wants you to think that he's all cute and cuddly when really he just has a demon inside of him. Like, look at that mouth. Why is your mouth so big, bro? Oh, wait. It's because it gotta be big enough to bite people's whole heads off. Sorry, I forgot. Kind of ironic that a teddy bear that bites other people's heads off doesn't really have a head himself. I guess it's kind of true what they say that hurt people hurt other people because 
they are hurt themselves. You know what I mean? So Teddy has no head, so then he wants other people to not have heads because he feels so bad about not having a head himself. It's just one crazy teddy bear cursed cycle. But Teddy, do you really gotta bite people's heads off just because you don't have one yourself? Did you forget that we're living in 2022? I got an easy fix for you, bro. Just put on a face mask. Well, except for your eyeballs. You probably need to find some of those. Well, I guess Halloween's only 10 months away, so then you can find yourself some gummy eyeballs. No one will even notice. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Hello? Oh, weird. Oh! Hey, family! I don't know what's wrong with these stupid headphones. Every time I try and listen to music, I just hear some weird noises. Worst toy ever. Ugh. But hey! Welcome back to Anything Alexia. Today we're gonna be looking at some of the scariest kids toys that you have ever seen before. So scary that some of them might even be alive. And believe me, you don't want one of those. But before we start today's video, smash like and smash subscribe or else your favorite toy is gonna come in line and eat you for Halloween, just like candy. He's gonna chew you up so bad that he's gonna think you're a Tootsie Roll. <laughs> Meet Hugo, the creepy bald old man looking toy that you can change around or add things to his face to make him look like a completely different person. He's an ugly, scary version of Mr. Potato Head. Both still bald though. This dude is a man of a thousand faces, but I don't even want to see one of them. See family, more does not always mean better. I'd rather see one beautiful family member's face than a thousand of Hugo's cursed devil looks that seems like he's gonna eat us at any second. You know it's bad when you got a thousand plastic surgeries and you still look like a potato heck i'd rather date mr potato head but shh don't tell miss potato head that it's a secret next up we got mr jolly chimp and i don't think he looks too jolly i mean can you blame him if your job was to hit symbols together all day every day pretty sure you would be mad too it might look like his eyes are popping out of his head because he's crazy but it's actually from all the constant banging that'd make you go crazy too either that or he just found out that mrs jolly chimp is pregnant you you are the father, sir. Sorry to break the news. And this just in, yep. Your child isn't born yet, but he's already dead. Probably from all the banging. Next toy we got is called Little Miss Darkness, and yeah, she might look cute, but don't let that fool you. Yeah, she got cute hair. Yeah, she got cute eyes, but you know what ain't cute? Her soul that's gonna come and hunt you at night. Cause she possessed. Probably cursed too. You look deeply into their eyes and tell me that they're not trying to take away your soul. Apparently people would get sucked into buying these dolls because their faces look so sad. So then naturally you wanna buy it to take care of it and make a fake doll all feel better even though it's not alive ah! it even has a fake tear drop on its cheek to pretend cry no miss haunted hannah i ain't getting you no chicken nugget i don't care how much you cry mm. okay fine fine maybe one chicken nugget it is too cute i can't say no but the doll even has on some raggedy clothes and can stick their hand out in front of them. So I don't know if they're trying to say that they're poor and asking for money or if they're leaving their hands out because they're trying to grab you and bring you over to the dark side with them. I like traveling just as much as the next person, but I don't want to go to... Oh my God, it's Pennywise. Why is he got to show up everywhere? Like read the room, buddy. Nobody wants you here. Okay, maybe the last doll does, but... Just cause you're both evil. Maybe y'all should get married and have one big spooky wedding. You can save money on the guest list too since everyone who's coming is gonna be ghosts. I heard they don't eat much either. You ever see a commercial for a fast food hamburger and say, wow, that's beautiful. But then you end up buying the burger in real life and you're like, what the heck is this? Well, family, that's exactly like the next toy, Terror Ted. You get the bear and you think that it's just a regular stuffed animal. But plot twist, the teddy bear is sad and depressed. So you feel bad for the bear. You want to help the bear, make the bear feel better, hug the bear. Mm -mm -mm. Big mistake. Because family, as soon as you hug that bear he reveals a different side of him that you have never seen before a side of him that's literally insane 
inside of him. Aside inside. Huh? Because he pulled down his bear mask and then you see that. Whatever you can say that is. In the 20 some years of my life, I have never seen a teddy bear skull before and that's why. Excuse me while I go throw up. <laughs> All these kids got completely catfished by all these bears. Or should we just say bearfish? Cause let's be honest, family, the bears are the real snakes here. The cats didn't do nothing. Meet the evil Furby. He's the haunted version of a regular Furby ball. That's just supposed to be a fun, cute little fur ball toy that sings and talks to you sometimes. And maybe you might have to change his diaper once or twice. I don't know how much you feed him. These Furbies are definitely haunted because sometimes kids would wake up and see the Furby doll just standing there staring at them listening to their every breath as they sleep oh creepy not only did they do that but they also started talking in weird languages sometimes that no one would understand and sometimes they would even speak when there was no batteries in them explain that one family yeah not to mention those googly weird eyes that spin around in every direction. Them spinny eyes match your cuckoo mangled brain. Both crazy. I'm not saying that these Furbies were the reason of any kids' disappearances, but I'm just saying if the police wanted to investigate the link between missing kids who had a Furby and didn't have a Furby, you might find some interesting discoveries. Just saying. This is the baby Laugh-A-Lot doll and she never stops doing two things. <laughs> laughing or rocking in that stupid chair of hers. Like, girl, we know you think grandma's rocking chair is fun and all, but it ain't that cool. Now let someone else have a turn. Her laugh is also another really scary thing about her because it sounds like a fresh newborn baby that just won't shut up. And the way that she just stares at you deeply into your eyes when she's laughing, oh, you feel some type of way. And not a good way, an evil spirit kind of way. Uh, I'm definitely gonna have nightmares for the next week kind of way. Oh, This is the type of doll you buy if you wanna pull off a major prank on your friend, take away everything out of their room when they're at school, then they come back into their empty room and see nothing except one creepy laughing rocking doll. You're telling me you wouldn't be spooked out? Ooh. All right, fine. I'll believe it when I see it. This doll is supposed to be inspired after the scary movie Annabelle. You know, the creepy haunted girl doll. Well, to be honest, I think they did a good job making it look like Annabelle. I mean, the hair is the same color, the makeup's all messed up, and the eyes are just as spooky. The doll is even supposed to be the same size as Annabelle in the actual movie. And to be honest, that's too big of a doll for me. Any doll that's almost the same size as me, uh-uh, family, I'm good. You never know when your dolls might just randomly come to life, you gotta make sure you're bigger than them so you can beat them in a fight. Just in case. But out of all of the creepy things that they did to this Annabelle doll, I think the creepiest thing was what they did to her hair. Like, girl, those bangs ain't doing much for you. You look like you got a piece of white bread on your forehead. Heat it up a bit, you got some golden brown toast. I don't think it would taste the same, though. What's this? Tastes like... An evil curse and 10 years of bad luck. Ugh. Maybe next time I'll just stick to whole wheat. Yeah, whole wheat might taste horrible, but at least it's not haunted. Whole wheat will just stay with you for a day, depending how often you go to the bathroom. Ooh. What's up, family? Welcome back to Anything Alexia. My name is Alexia, and today we're gonna be looking at some creepy stuff. <laughs> we're gonna be looking at the most dangerous toys ever to exist. The kind of toys that are so dangerous that if you're not careful, it might just... You, you know? To make sure that your favorite toys don't do anything bad to you, I need you all to smash like right now. Just to be safe. Also, if you want to join the family, hit that subscribe button right now and turn on all post notifications. Let's get into it. <sighs> Number 10, fearsome flush. Those well, are toilets. Are creepy, but at the same time, <laughs> fun too. What the Kids heck? in the 90s might know the Ghostbusters series aired on television at those times. Although the toys couldn't do well in the market and got tossed out entirely, a few still have them. The fearsome flush comes in with a wide open mouth and lengthy tongue and round, rolling, eerie, blood red eyes. While it has those frightening factors, nonetheless, it is Ugh. somewhat funny too. <laughs> Sharp teeth like structure engrossed on the sides seem weird. You'll find a scary rubber made ghost inside the cavity and you have to move the belt back and forth attached to the toy. 
And that's the fun part of this whole concept, where a scary little monster goes up and down. When you get the toy, you can claim small accessories of ghostly figures that are quite weird. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but did they just say that the toilet has sharp teeth around the rim? Oh, God, that is my worst nightmare. Imagine you're just trying to go to the bathroom and then you just get swallowed up by some big choppers in your toilet. Your uh, internal apple juice isn't the only thing that's gonna get flushed. You'll be swimming down that toilet just like a fish be swimming downstream in a lake. Not fun. Number nine, Hugo, a man of 1,000 faces. Hi, Hugo. The concept of the toy is bizarre and creepy. Hugo, the man with a 1,000 faces, was surprisingly Ugh. sold out. And despite its weird features, they received love from some of the kids. Hugo is a bald man puppet and is not a complete figure and stuffed with arms. And you can find several other small accessories that you can fix on the toy. You can practically dress them up to transform them into a disturbing and uncomfortable figure. Okay, can someone please explain to me why our buddy Hugo looks like a servant from the medieval times? What is that dress slash top situation going on? You wearing a dress or is that just a straight jacket? Because I can't tell. Dress them up to transform them into a disturbing and uncomfortable figure. You can give him a ghostly eye or blood-tainted scars. Ugh. The toy was the mastermind of Kenner and started production in 1975. Non-toxic glue comes with this set to create disgusting appearances using distinct eyebrows, <gasps> chins, a reasonably typical nose, but weird-looking blood-stained bandages. This is the ultimate toy of plastic surgery. Want a new nose? Pop it on. New chin, pop it on. New butt looking object right on top of your bald head. Pop that sucker right on. We ain't spending 50 Ds for plastic surgery in 2021. Mm -mm. Our buddy Hugo can do it for us for free. Also come with the set. All this makes it one of the eeriest toys you can ever Oh, find. it looks so Number weird. Eight, skinny bones. Skitty Bones being a part of the what kids' the heck is series this? was supposed to be a creative <laughs> idea, but ultimately became the spookiest, cranky figure. That's the toy weird. Looks so realistic and is pretty intimidating. It has thin bones and lean appendages, practically made of plastic. The idea of creating such a toy budded for the first time in the minds of Lewis Marx and Company in 1970. Eventually, oh. they had to discontinue the production as the monstrous figure completely collapsed in the kids' world. Oh. Rather than buying and playing with it, the product got sought out as a collector's item. That toy looks so fragile. I swear I just look at it and that thing will snap. There's a little one-two blow of the wind. That tower of bones is tumbling over. This toy takes noodle arms to the next level. Stick man who? Take a seat, buddy. We're talking about skinny bones now. So skinny that they literally broke and probably need a wheelchair now to get around. I guess Stickman ain't so lame after all. Number seven, Cyclops uh, Baby. Oh, it's scary. A is a significant part of a kid's development in early childhood. It makes walking and movements oh. faster. But the Cyclops baby stroller didn't follow the legacy completely. What the the toy that? comes with a demonic, bloody, and greenish rolling out eyes. <clears throat> the surroundings of the stroller have a color similar to human flesh. When you place a baby in the stroller, it resembles sitting inside a brain cyclops created Ooh. by Elmer Presley. What kind of baby wants to sit inside a brain? I'm gonna give you the answer. None of them. This poor baby's just sitting there thinking about maybe some milk, what kind of toy they're gonna play with next. But little did they know that their psycho parents thought it would be funny to put their diapered body inside of this Cyclops. Oh man, when that baby turns 15, y'all gonna have a really serious conversation. And it ain't gonna end well. If you wanna scare the kiddos out there rather than bring out the fun in playing, then this monster <laughs> toy stroller is a perfect choice. <laughs> Number six, baby laugh a lot. The toy That's laughs out cute. a lot and is the creepiest part of the whole story. The echoes of laughter fill the space with a negative vibe, giving Ooh. out an eeriness. When the batteries start to go low, the laughter gets really spooky, leaving a spine tingle. 
According to the rumors so far, the company Remco, which produced the toy, went bankrupt that same year, considering it a bad omen. Maybe they went bankrupt because their company is cursed. I mean, a creepy doll with a creepy laugh and those crazy psycho chopped bangs of hers. Yeah, I'm not getting good vibes either. Later, the company was occupied in 1974 by Azraq Hamway International. I was shaking so much during the early 70s. In an advertisement created, you can find the toy laughing out uncontrollably in front of the child, moving back and forth as if it got placed on the top of a rocking horse. Sounds creepy, isn't it? You see those kids in that advertisement? They're like... <laughs> then they start laughing uncontrollably like... <laughs> <laughs> Guys, creepy! Number five, Little Ugh, Miss No Name. That's scary. The dolls look like a poverty-stricken child with no hope in her deep, wide eyes and no dirty shoes. And frizzy blonde hair. The toy supposedly looks gloomy, <gasps> as if deprived of happiness. As a change in approach from traditional super glam dolls like Barbie, Hasbro designed the plaything in 1965. The theme seems to bring in with a reality check, depicting not all kids have a beautiful life. The toys come in a burlap sack used as a dress oh. and don't wear any makeup or shoes. Despite the approach, the toy couldn't make it big as it wasn't all that jolly to attract kids unless they wanted to care for the doll by their looks and give love that she hopes for clearly shown in her eyes. A large plastic teardrop falling from her eyes is made to add more tenderness to her. It seemed like she was begging with her extended hand put forth. Oh, no, that was just sad. I wouldn't even want that thing in my room because honestly, I feel like that would be a little bit of bad juju. Plus, I'd feel guilty every time I do something good for myself. Maybe I'm just in my room trying to eat a yummy sandwich. Then you just look over to the right and you see that doll. Hungry, starving, probably cold. Wants my sandwich. Then I'm just here I gotta be feeling guilty and stuff? I don't know about you guys, but not my kind of toy. Number four, Jolly Chimp. A monkey in red That's and white stripes fun. and a blood red belt with a cap holding a symbol. And when you press the button, he starts banging the symbol. So how can it be included in the creepy list? Oh. When it hits the symbol continuously, it also looks terrifying. Shaking his head and bloody eyes seems like it's gonna pop out. It makes screeching voices and gives a dreadful grin, making some ghostly whispers. A company based in Japan known as Dashin CK made the battery-operated toy. When you squeeze the head, the monkey shows his teeth and screeches as if it got agitated. <gasps> he remained famous, and various companies started producing it and brought it into the market in different names. In later versions, it had wide eyes with red color painted around it, making it more creepy. Another interesting fact about the toy is that at the beginning of the Conjuring movie, released in 2013, Ed tells certain people not to touch the monkey holding the symbol. Yes, you're right. It's the same one. This toy is so creepy that it got featured in a horror movie. You think that's what these toys are going for when they get put on the shelves? You think after that monkey got featured in the movie, he was like, yes. I made it. I really made it, mom. But uh, to me, I don't think that's something he should be proud of. Number three, Chucky Dolls. Oh, not Chucky, not Chucky, not Chucky. Many know the murderous, spooky Chucky ah. doll featured in the film Seed of Chucky and countless other Chucky films. The recent Child's Play movie featured the <gasps> malicious ginger-haired doll, which serves his master after becoming a conduit of the Chicago serial killer, a voodoo practitioner whose soul goes into the spooky toy. Chucky ultimately gets revenge for their master and kills people most terrifyingly. Okay, we know the story of Chucky, okay? We don't gotta hear it again. At least I don't. So what if the plaything got recreated and is available out there for kids to play in the toy world? No, Pretty no, no. scary thought, right? The Chucky toy comes with blood-stained scars and cuts and has an eerie, spine-chilling smile on his face. You might remember now how Chucky comes in the movie with a knife intended to claim lives. Mm. Now you know why a simple plaything can be the source of a nightmare. It indeed looks like it'll suck blood from you or gulp your soul. Watch out not to come in contact with this monster as it will genuinely frighten you. Yeah, it will. That doll ain't no joke. And I have zero other comments to say about it. Knock on wood.
knock on anything because I don't want that thing to come and get me. You never know. Number two, Jack in the Box. Oh. In the wake of Halloween season, all the toy companies and other industries try to come up with the spookiest thing possible to introduce into the market. When you open the box, a super scary clown will pop out of the box with I don't the want to out. smile and laughter. No, I don't want to pop out. a giant curled coil on which the evil-looking clown remains submerged. The pine wood made a sleek box that looks neat. I wanted to come out, guys. Red, but when you open it, bang! He yeah. looks as if he's all set to smack someone. Uh. The clown wears a bright and vibrant cloth, similar to vintage clowns available in the market. But the Jack in the Box clown is pretty hideous. Yeah, that toy is pure deception. Here you have a beautiful, colorful box that you're like, hey, I just got a new toy. You're cranking it, you're cranking it, you're having a good time, and then bam, the scary clown comes out of the box and practically wants to eat you. Okay, maybe not eat you, but curse you, or maybe just frighten you. I don't know, guys, whatever it is, it's unexpected. And I don't like it. Number one, crawling zombie Ew. dolls. Ew. Have you watched the film Train to Busan that emphasizes some disfigured humans who turn into bloodthirsty beasts by the bite of an infected zombie? The Ugh. monster then goes on oh. with tormenting the living and keep on expanding their troop. Fear inflicts into the viewer's mind by just watching the movie. What if the nightmare becomes real in the form of a toy? Oh. The crawling zombie is a Halloween version and the evil looking stuff is further alarming when it wriggles on the floor. Can you imagine? You're just trying to sleep in your bed. You open your eyes for just two seconds and you see this thing crawling out from under your bed. Oh, guys, they say nightmares only happen in your dreams. But with this thing, I think it would happen in real life. And make some weird and oh. hair raised voices. And as a bounty, oh, it that has one's creepy bases. too. It will slither and start sneaking what happened to that through baby's your ankle and make harsh noise. When it crawls on the ground, it screams in a bizarre manner, it cramming screams? the room with a chilliness in the air enough to freak you out and stiffen your bones. As if that toy wasn't already scary enough, they had to add in the scream. Yeah, why wouldn't you, toy company? Sure, you already made a real life demon. You might as well just add that part too. Don't mind me, family. I'm just playing with my super new, totally cool, extra awesome M&M toy that I just got today. But I'm trying to get the M&Ms out of there, but it's just not working. Nothing. Still nothing. Okay, okay, let's try the third one. We found something. Nothing. Oh, what's that, family? I gotta press down the button? I really don't think that's gonna work. I practically tried everything, but fine, family. If you tell me to do it, you tell me to do it. I think it's gonna work. Oh! Wait a second. This isn't m and ms This is some stupid knockoff candy. In the shape of a heart, too? We don't need love on this channel. The only kind of love we got is for toys. And this one don't even work, so it's stupid. Yeah, that's right. I called you stupid. Wait, why are you looking at me like that, Eminem? You're looking kind of creepy. Almost kind of crazy. It's kind of starting to scare me. Wait, what was that? You got something else for me? Well, all right. <gasps> oh! Oh! What is this? And why is it brown? Oh no. Is that what I think it is? <laughs> oh, family! That toy just literally tried to... In my hand! That toy's not fun! It's just mean! So today, we're gonna be looking at other toys that are also just as bad. So bad that these toys have been banned for 
anybody to play them ever again. That's right, family. We are back with our band thing series. I actually have a whole playlist of other band things that you can go check out. But sit right there and don't you move because y'all are gonna wanna see these toys that I'm about to show you because they crazy. But before we start this video, I need you all to smash that like button as hard as you can and only smash that like button if you don't want your favorite toy to be banned too. Because it will be if you don't smash like. Also, comment down below your favorite toy. Three, two, one, let's go. Sky dancers. I had one of those. These flying fairies seem to be more menacing than they appear. More menacing? That's literally Spider-Man dressed up as a fairy with a tutu on him. Pretty sure I've seen scarier things in my parents' washroom after they've eaten McDonald's. Ugh. Fired off in random directions, and it was effortless for it to launch into people's faces accidentally. <gasps> Galoob Toys Inc. banned these playthings for good reason. After 150 reports of eye injuries, damaged corneas, fractured teeth, facial lacerations, and even a slight concussion. A slight concussion? Those things look harmless. They're just trying to do a little pirouette, spinny spin, spin in the sky, and mind their own business. Why they gotta be banned? Oh, because they hit a couple people in the face or the eye or made them almost pass out. Come on, people. We gotta be tougher than this. We ain't afraid of no dancing ballerinas. <laughs> I'm second thought. Maybe we are. Those dancers are strong and they could probably poke your eyes out with just the tips of their toes. Cause I've seen them do their points in those ballerina slippers. That's intense. Splash off water rockets. Ooh, On interesting. The, hand, the splash off water <gasps> rocket was not a bad toy if you were trying to depict the dangers of science realistically. What? On the other hand, it was a wrong choice if you didn't want to learn a painful lesson about overpressurizing plastic containers and products made by the lowest bidder. Excuse me, sir, say what now? All I heard was rocket and toy, and then I got so excited that I didn't hear nothing else. Toy wasn't always produced using high quality materials, and the plastic would occasionally rupture. Ooh. It'd hit the kids playing with the toy and, well, end a fun time. <laughs> All right, Mr. Toymaker, sir. Maybe I can see why this one was banned. I mean, I like setting off rockets just as much as the next guy. But if it means that I'm gonna be a one-punch pirate like the Pirates of the Caribbean dude for the rest of my life, yeah, maybe I'll pass. Aqua Leisure Baby Boat. Oh, it's so It's cute, a terrible you scenario. Baby. You put a kid in a pool float to keep them safe, only for them to vanish into the water. Vanish into the water? But they're in a safe and secure boat. How are they gonna vanish? We got Swiper No Swiper out here trying to steal some babies for his backpack? Dora, you better stop him. These inflated water toys failed to achieve the one thing they were designed to accomplish, keep kids afloat. The shoddy plastic material would often rip and babies would plop right into the water. <gasps> Although it later came to light that Aqua Leisure knew about the problem, the company did not recall the product until at least 30 drowning deaths. As you can imagine, the company behind them got into great trouble. 30, uh, oops. And not only regular oops, I'm talking oops of a baby. Multiple babies. And the company knew about it too. I'm starting to think that this company ain't a toy company. They're an I hate babies company. What a cute little baby ever do to you, huh? Except cry and sleep and poop everywhere and keep you up all night and practically taking over your whole life. Besides all of that, what's a baby ever do to you? Super blast balls. Super Did you ever what? Have a pair of these? Super paying blast balls do exactly what they sound like. They make thunderous noises. How do they work? They're two colorful balls that kids could smack <gasps> together to hear a jump out of your skin noise and occasionally see some sparks, and that's it. Okay, now come on. Let's hear it. I want to hear the blast. Now, as riveting as that may sound, they were only on the market for a short time before first complaints of burn injuries and clothes catching fire Ooh. arose. A toy that allows children to fire caps from their hands? It's no surprise it was banned. Uh, excuse me, I don't know why this toy was banned. Y'all might think the kids are burning their hands, but all I hear is that you're teaching kids how to be superheroes by getting them to create fire from their hands. 
Sounds kind of epic to me. If you want to ban the toy, fine. But don't be mad next time that you're on a camping trip trying to cook your hot dogs with no campfire in sight. Could have used the super blast balls, but y'all don't listen. Belt buckle Derringer toy gun. Okay, what is Every this? Little boy's Christmas list in 1959 included this toy. It did, however, pack a punch in the gut. <gasps> Wait this a sec. This buckle gun would shoot a toy bullet and a cap when the user extends his stomach when worn around the waist. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Is this a belt with a... Attached to it? Oh, jeez. I'm all about a good two-for-one deal. But if that deal involves two toys for you and, uh... Killing one of them... I'm gonna say no to the deal. Nope, 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 nope. Definitely a not. No, it didn't fire shots, nor were objects projected, but a flame oh. was, and you guessed it, the camp could catch fire. Oh! Unfortunately for wannabe cowboys, the camps could be set off accidentally by friction and cause severe burns. No! This is definitely not something you want around your nether region. <laughs> okay, correction, family. The belt does not do any... But it can catch fire? I mean, I'm all about keeping warm, uh, down there. But if I wanted it as hot as an extra spicy flaming Dorito, I would just go to the vending machine down the street. More cheese, less uh, third degree burns. You know what I mean? Easy Bake Oven. Oh, I had one of Every those too. Every girl dreamed of having an Easy Bake Oven. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't want to bake cookies and cakes on their own in their tiny oven? Psychopaths don't want to bake cookies on their own. That's who. But that's not us, right? One of the most significant dangers of owning an Easy Bake was that it became hot enough that children may indeed injure themselves. Little fingers were readily stuck in these ovens, which resulted in severe burns. No! This is clearly a tragedy waiting to happen, mainly because the ovens might reach temperatures of up to 200 degrees Celsius. There were approximately 250 incidences reported, oh. with children suffering from second and third degree burns in 16 of them. One five-year-old had to have a part of her finger removed. <gasps> a part of her finger removed? Well, wait a sec. I mean, they did just say part of a finger, right? Not the whole thing. I mean, if I had to choose between part of my finger getting cut off or having some delicious chocolate chip fresh baked cookies, hmm, that's a hard decision. I don't know, family. I'll have to get back to you on that one. What do you think? Comment down below, cookie or finger? Hmm. Yo-Yo Water Ball. Yo-Yo Water Ball. to create Ooh. a genuinely safe toy and failing miserably. The Yo-Yo Water Ball is that. Why? How can something like a toy be dangerous? How can something like a toy be dangerous? Uh, sir? Where have you been for all the other toys we've been talking about? I think these toys aren't the only thing that got banned. Because I think your ears did too. Because they don't seem to be working. After all, it's soft. Not only did Yo-Yo Water Balls contain questionable materials, but their design was potentially dangerous. What? According Why? To little things, it used flammable diesel hydrocarbons to make it. Okay, okay, okay. What is up with all of these toys and being flammable? Fire is not your friend, people. Unless you want to look at it or if you want to cook with it or if you want to have it for your nice steamy hot shower. But other than those things, we hate fire. H-A-T-E, hate. Strong word, but I said it. There have been over 400 cases of near strangulation reported with the use of the yo-yo ball. Strangle what? Its cord was getting wrapped around the necks of kids and in some cases causing them to black out. No! The cord material was somewhat sticky to make matters worse, making it difficult to release if it did get around the neck. Do you remember wanting or even owning one of these? Lucky you. Yeah, these toys pretty much strangled lots of kids and they got stuck around their neck because they're so sticky, but do you remember owning one of these? Yeah, did you almost get strangled too? Oh, nice! Lucky you! Dive sticks. The idea behind the diving sticks was to toss them into the pool, let them sink, and then have the kids go in and collect them. Okay. These weren't just entertaining Simple. for the youngsters, but they also gave parents a few moments of peace as their kids spent more time beneath the water collecting them. Yeah, totally! Gives your parents moments of peace when you're diving under the deep, deep waters, not breathing or coming up for air. Such moments of release for these uh, <coughs> terrible parents. They probably wouldn't even notice if you drowned. Probably wouldn't care either. 
How could something as seemingly harmless as a weighted stick be so dangerous? Mm -hmm. The trouble started with the materials from which it was made. Some of the products were made from hard plastic, which would stand up when they sink to the bottom of the pool. There were recalls in 1999 because kids supposedly got impaled and even had to have surgery for their injuries. What? Speaking of injuries, the number one toy in this video is pretty horrible too. Wait, hold up family, what does impaled mean? To pierce with a sharp instrument? So let me get this straight, because the stick was standing up straight, the kids got pierced with it? Yeah, no, I'm not buying this one. Don't know why it was banned. All right, next. Innocent looking but secretly evil Teletubby. Uh, was that the name of the toy when you bought it? Innocent looking but secretly evil Teletubby? All right then. It's all based on the character from the children's television show Teletubbies. And what could be mm -hmm. safer than a Teletubby? I love Teletubbies. Though this talking po doll never injured any child physically. It was removed <gasps> oh. from the shelves in 1998, the same year it was released. Why does that one look no so one creepy? An adorable Teletubby toy of speaking the questionable language. Parents weren't too happy to learn what their child's doll was teaching them. They heard the doll say inappropriate things, including bite my butt Ooh. and other phrases unsuitable for children. <laughs> Not a toy you'd want to get for your kid, right? So now they're selling cursed Teletubbies? Oh man, family, nobody's safe. If something so sweet like Teletubbies can be cursed, then that means anything can be cursed. Your mom can be cursed. Your dog can be cursed. Even you could be cursed. So stay away from me, I. Because I don't trust you. Lawn darts. Lawn darts. It doesn't take much Sounds imagination safe. to see why steel missiles with weighted skewers could make for a dangerous toy. What could possibly go wrong with heavy metal darts with a very sharp tip at the end? That are going to be used by young children that probably have worse aim than my 80-year-old grandpa without his reading glasses on. That's sketchy. Lawn darts or jarts were giant plastic darts with weighted and sharpened metal tips the kids were supposed to throw into plastic hoops on the lawn, a sort of hybrid between darts and horseshoes. Oh, the no. The darts are meant to be grasped by the rod and launched underhand towards the target, but they can cause skull punctures and other serious injuries. If you think that sounds dangerous, uh. the U.S. government agrees with you. They were banned in the U.S. after 6,100 people were sent to the emergency room for the injuries they caused. 6,100 people? I hate to say it, but... I'm not surprised. This toy was not made to be a toy, but more like an attack mission. And by all those injuries, I think it succeeded. Snack time, Cabbage Patch Kid. Oh, Cabbage it's Patch all fun Kid. It's until someone loses a finger. Huh? But what? The Cabbage Patch Kids were huge in the 80s that came with their own adoption certificates and famously squishy bodies. Okay. Seemed so harmless. Mm. The Snack Time Kid had a motorized mouth that would munch down on plastic goodies fed to it. Nice. Unfortunately, the doll couldn't differentiate between plastic and human. <gasps> it didn't take long for little fingers to get caught up in the action. Another victim of this ever-hungry doll was hair. Also, there was no way to turn it off since the toy had no switch. Once something got into the snack time kit, it was going <gasps> to keep going. Oh. This real life garbage pail kid nightmare was eventually pulled from the shelves once enough lawsuits made it clear that it had an insatiable and unsafe craving for the flesh of children. <laughs> oh yeah, we know our Cabbage Patch Kids doll just munch up kids' fingers and practically rip them right off of their hand. But we're gonna keep it on the shelves until we get sued a couple times and taken to court. And then only after we lose. Will we finally get rid of them? Poor little Sally just trying to feed her girl a little carrot stick. But little did she know that the only stick that that doll is going to be eating was her pinky finger. R.I.P. little girl. R.I.P. One second, guys. I'm trying to play with my bop it. Okay, bop it. <laughs> Okay, sorry, Bobbit. Let's just try again. Bobbit? Why are you looking at me like that, Bobbit? I don't like the way you're looking at me, Bobbit. Why are you shaking, Bobbit? What's going on? What's going on, Bobbit? Bobbit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, that Bobbit literally just tried to. Me! You know, like. You know, like. Make me a goner. Like, dead. I thought that this
everything was fun. What is just evil? So today we're gonna be looking at other toys that are also not as good as you thought they were. Some toys so dangerous that they might even kill you. But before we start, I need you all to smash that like button right now. But I only want you to hit the like button if you don't want your favorite toy to go evil on you too. I'm just saying. Three, two, one, let's go. Cabbage Snack Patch Kids. Kids doll involved a motorized mouth mechanism that allowed the doll to eat plastic foods. Kids being mm. kids, it didn't take much for fingers and hair to get trapped in those evil dolls' unforgiving maws. <laughs> okay, so these Cabbage Patch Kids are caught guilty of being a little hungry. I mean, can you blame them? While such a doll wasn't exactly life-threatening, parents unsurprisingly did not like their kids' new favorite pals pulling their hair out by the roots. Oh. The most charming aspect of these terrifying eating machines was that they were made without any on-off switch. In at least one instance, this led to a girl virtually being scalped all along the backside of her head. So basically what they're saying is that they'll just eat and eat and eat and eat and never get full. That's kind of spooky. They don't even come with an off switch. Imagine you're just sleeping at night. You got the doll on your countertop or so you thought then you wake up in the middle of the night and bam the doll is right by your head about to eat off one of your fingers or something that's taking hangry to a new level Dell may not have identified any obvious hazard in their tests but thankfully that didn't stop them from pulling the dolls from store shelves mm -hmm. In the 1950s, all of America was excited to see the economy-changing prospect of nuclear power and splitting the atom. With the introduction of the Gilbert U-238 Atomic Energy Lab, children everywhere were encouraged to get involved and be inspired by science. Created by Alfred Carlton Gilbert, the science kit for children included ore samples with uranium, a known source of radiation poisoning. Well Just say radiation and poison in the same sentence for a toy made for kids. No wonder this thing was banned. This is one science experiment that is definitely gonna be labeled as deadly. Well, it's been concluded that short-term exposure to the types of radiation in the kid wouldn't have caused an immediate health detriment. Mm, Any I don't kind think of consumption so. by these children would have been cancer-inducing. A clear danger to children, and these kids still took a few years to be pulled off the market. What? Inducing took a few years to get off the shelf. It's like, bro, what other kind of proof do you need? Radiation, poison, cancer inducing. Then you got Tommy the toy inspector over there, like, hmm, yeah, hmm, I don't know if I see any issues with this. I mean, kids are smart, they'll be fine. Leave it on the shelves, they're good. Uh, I don't think so. Mr. Toy Inspector, you need to be fired and sent off to space with that kind of attitude? Gosh! Spring loaded doesn't really have a kid-friendly connotation. Ooh, I but remember snap these. bracelets are metal springy bands wrapped in colorful plastic and fabric to entice small children, designed to straighten out rigid when unfurled and curl up quickly when smacked against a wrist or surface. The toy quickly popularized in the 1990s with school children. I remember these like they were night and day. All the cool kids had multiple ones on their wrists, all different colors and stuff. But then you also kept a couple in your pocket that weren't supposed to go on your wrist. Mm, mm, mm. They're meant to be slapping your enemies with at recess. Couple softy tap tapped with those bracelets and your wrist be looking redder than your mama's pasta sauce on a Sunday night. Ugh. I speak from experience. Unfortunately, like many toy fads, generic manufacturers got a hold of the snap bracelets and began cutting costs by using cheap fabric that sharp metal edges would Ooh. slice through into small tender wrists nationwide. Hold up, but I remember something slicing through my wrist without those metal pieces. Those things hurt either way, man. The knockoffs were quickly called into investigation and recalled by manufacturers who were selling them to children for under a dollar. Someone in the 80s had an awesome idea to take a drunken adult bar game and put a twist on it by marketing Aww. it as child fun. Add heavy, solid, sharp metal, impaired forethought, and children, and you get the jar disaster of 1988. Tommy Toy Inspector, get back in here! You're telling me that you let this one slide too? Piercing metal darts? Young children throwing them? Probably at other young children's... 
Ice? Amazing idea, really? A plus! Man, these toy companies be getting more savage and more savage by the year. And you get the Jart disaster of 1988, wherein the Consumer Product and Safety Commission banned Jarts on December 19th so. for causing an estimated 762 emergency room visits every year, with 80% being minors. Adult supervision or not, Jarts were responsible for over 7,000 injuries and even a few oh. deaths. Injuries and a couple. Oh, I mean, I knew it would be dangerous, but I didn't think it would be that dangerous. Tommy's definitely getting fired now, as he should. The release of Ew. Creepy Crawlers in 1964 came with high temperature melted plastic and an electrically powered mold that heats to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, plastic being heated up at super high temperatures? How could that be dangerous? 149 degrees Celsius. This was an extremely popular Ew. toy for children, wherein kids get to make and design their own gummy <laughs> toys in the shape of creepy bugs and spiders. While the creative aspect was intriguing, sizzling hot burns and toxic fumes caused the downfall of this popular toy. Toxic fumes! See guys, I told you! Dangerous! Also, how did I know that a toy of creepy, crawly, disgusting bugs would be a hit with kids? Why y'all gotta be so nasty like that and like the grossest things imaginable? I'm just asking. Magnets I remember are these. A fascinating toy for I love this. They provide endless amusement using the natural forces mm. of the universe. In 2004, Megablox released Ooh. Magnetics, a plastic building toy with tiny magnetic pieces inside. Tragically, the magnets could be easily dislodged from the toy pieces and were quickly swallowed by curious toddlers oh. and babies. Mommy, I want to be pretty. Sweetie, you are pretty. You got beautiful blonde hair, blue eyes, perfect skin. No, I want to be pretty on the inside. I'm going to swallow. Bracelet. Mm, beautiful. These magnets cause several health complications oh. when they would naturally attract in the body and pull on organs. Oh. In 2006, magnetics was recalled, but not before 30 kids were injured. And tragically, in 2005, a 22 month old named Kenny Sweet died from digesting no, the toy. Oh, Kenny! Oh! Why are these toys gotta be so sketchy like this? I mean, guys, if you didn't already know this, you should not be eating plastic pieces of any kind. You should be eating nothing that's not food given to you by your mom or your dad or whoever takes care of you. If it ain't food, it ain't fun. Toy guns are a hot topic. Oh my gosh. Because of concern. Of this is a... You know, like a... You know, but for kids, what could go wrong? It's because of concern about the future mental detriment that yeah. may cause. In the 1940s, the Austin Magic Pistol was released. It used an explosive reaction with calcium carbide and water to propel ping pong balls out of the muzzle at breakneck <gasps> speeds. The manufacturers quickly learned of the real world violence that could be committed with this dangerous toy and quickly removed it from the market. I'm sorry, did they just call it a magic pistol? Ain't nothing magic about hurting someone, sis. And somebody has to tell me if that fire coming from it is real or fake. These toy companies really be trying to bring their toys from one level to the next. They're like, hmm, toy pistol for kids? Nah, not good enough. Let's do flamethrowers. What? Knockers, clackers, and clackers were large acrylic balls fun. attached to hefty string. Their simple design was also their sole amusement. It was created by knocking the two balls together as hard and fast as humanly possible. Yeah, what's possible. wrong with that? Their force got out of hand quickly with bruised eyes, broken teeth, and runaway balls that became flying projectiles into other oh, people's no. objects. Clackers, or whatever you want to call them, were banned in 1985 after numerous minor injuries and shattered toys. I agree with that one. You're saying it got banned because a couple people got hit in the arm, maybe hit in the face with it? A uh, newsflash, you can make anything into a weapon if you really try. I could be hitting my brother over the head with this iPhone and he'll probably get a concussion too. But does that mean all iPhones as a whole are a hazard? I don't think so. The iconic splash off water rocket used water pressure buildup from your house to intensify and boost the toy rocket oh, into the fun. sky. Played with by both children and hobbyists, these rockets yeah. were well liked until they began exploding midair. The toy company had 37 cases reported of the rocket exploding under <gasps> pressure and shrapnel flying off in unpredictable directions. <laughs> 
<laughs> that rocket made it halfway up into the air and then was like, hmm, nah, I don't wanna be a rocket no more. I wanna be a firework. Unpredictable directions, causing uh, skill lacerations and property ooh. damage. New technology often leads Aquadot. to new and exciting educational toys. The downfall is in the novelty science. In 2007, the Spin Master Company out of Toronto, Canada, introduced Aquadots to the world, a creative toy that comprised of small beads that when moistened with water formed a chemical reaction that made them stick together. I used to love this toy! You can make anything you imagine with these Aquadots. Dinosaur, kitty cat, a piece of cheese? You name it, you could Aquadot it. Fortunately, millions of shipments were quickly recalled later that year when it was discovered that the Chinese manufacturing company used a chemical in the beads that acted as a powerful <gasps> sedative when swallowed. Guys, if you don't know what sedative means, it means something that can make you pass out and go betty bye for unknown amounts of time. Powerful sedative when swallowed. As a result, multiple children were found in a comatose state. As a result, these kids were found in a comatose state? Guys, that literally means that these kids went into a coma. I mean, geez, I understand getting excited over toys you like, but going into a coma? That's a whole different level. Ah, McDonald's. Home to some really delicious foods like their golden yellow french fries, their creamy Oreo McFlurries, their Big Macs. Those are my favorite things you can get at McDonald's. What? Oh, you're saying I forgot something? Something I like at McDonald's more than I like french fries, ice cream, and Big Macs? Huh? Chick, what? Hmm, let me think about that one a bit. Oh my gosh, family, of course I'm forgetting something, duh! How could I forget about one of my most favorite things at McDonald's ever? The thing we talk about on this channel all the flipping time? McDonald's! Happy Meals! What? That's wrong too? Okay, family, well, I literally have no idea what you're talking about, but today we're gonna be looking at some of the scariest McDonald's Happy Meals that you have ever seen. So spooky that you might never even want to go to McDonald's again. Cause you might be getting some nightmares. I know they're supposed to be happy meals, but to be honest, after we see these today, you're just gonna think of them as crappy meals. Cause they're crazy. Smash like on today's video if you want to see the scary Happy Meals. Let's get this video to 10,000 likes, family. I know we can do it. And if we do, I think your parents are going to bring you to McDonald's today or tomorrow or the next day or at some point of your life, okay? Watch the video. It's safe to say that McDonald's doesn't really have the best reputation for being healthy. I mean, do we want to eat it every day? Sure. But if we do eat it every day, are we... Probably more likely to get a heart attack. Yeah. Allegedly. So McDonald's decided that they would do something about this and came out with a Happy Meal toy that would motivate kids to be more fit. It was a fitness tracker called Step It and it's pretty much McDonald's version of the Apple Watch, but like 30 years ago. You'd put the toy on your wrist and then it would count all the different activities that you do during the day and you see how many steps you took. Pretty great idea, McDonald's. A good job. Um, but hold on. What was motivating kids to be more active was was also, um, how do I say this? Burning them, like straight up fire. Because if these poor kids were wearing the watch on their wrist for long enough, the battery in the watches would get so hot that it would leave burn marks on their arms. The heck? Like chill, McDonald's. I know you're trying to make the kids more healthy and all, but this is not the way you burn off calories. You're straight up just burning them. Not cool. No family, these are not peanuts stained with apple juice. They're cute little minions. You know, like from the movie. Jeez, family, catch up. And you might be like Alexia. Why are cute little minions like this a part of your scariest McDonald's Happy Meal toys ever list? They're harmless. They're tiny. And all they do is eat a bunch of bananas. No, no, no family. These minions are lying to you. When you got these toys in your McDonald's Happy Meal, there's a button on the top that you press and then the minions are supposed to speak to you and say different lines of stuff that they said in the movie. Well, uh, when you press the button of these minions, instead of saying all those things, they actually started swearing at you. Like straight up F bombs. They said the F bomb. Allegedly. I don't know who, what, where, when, or how these things ended up getting programmed to say that. But what I can say is that these minions had a lot of anger bottled up inside. And apparently they weren't afraid to show it. Guess they never had a swear jar as a kid. And if they did, it definitely didn't work. Furbies! Oh, 
No, wait. I forgot these ones are bad. Uh, oh yeah. Now I remember. Furbies have been around for a long, long time. And not gonna lie, family, they used to be a little bit on the, uh, ugly side. And now I'd say today they're much cuter. But Furbies used to be so popular that McDonald's came out with their very own version of Furbies that were smaller than the original ones and also made out of plastic for some reason. I guess that's cheaper or something. And just like the minions from the last toy, these Furbies talk too. But don't worry, family. The Furbies do not say the creepy things like the minions did, but they did do something else. You see, each time the kids would press the Furby stomach, the Furbies would make some really weird and creepy noises, which was weird for the parents to begin with, but it didn't stop there. See, even after the kids ended up going to bed, the parents allegedly reported that these Furbies would continue to make some creepy sounds during the night, even when the kids weren't playing with them. How were these Furbies making these sounds by themselves? I don't know. But what I do know is those noises were not no coincidence. And I'm gonna say that they're cursed. Or possessed. Or some aliens sent down to Earth to specifically spook you. And take you back on their spaceship. Thank Furby. I didn't know y'all were that deep. Ah, who is that? Oh, I forgot that's Rasputin. Yeah, he's like some bad guy or whatever from some movie called Anastasia. He's supposed to be the main villain in the story. And by the looks of him, yeah, I could agree. He scares me. But besides his terrifying looks, that's not the only thing wrong with him. Unfortunately, this was a plastic toy figurine for kids. But when the kids were playing with the toy, they noticed that uh, his head comes off and his arms come off. And I think his legs too. Apparently, the toy was supposed to be like this. And it was just a fun way for the kids to touch and feel the toy and move it around and stuff. But the parents did not like that. They were like, uh, excuse me, McDonald's. Why are you teaching my kids how to oof somebody? Why are you showing them how to chop off somebody's arm? Not a good idea for my, uh, three-year-old? You're gonna be in prison before he hits puberty. All because of you, McDonald's. So unless you want me to put you in prison by suing you for this gosh awful toy, I suggest you take it off of your McMenu. Okay. And from that day forward, Rasputin vanished out of thin air quicker than the kids could, uh, pull off his head. At least he had a cool beard, though. Kinda looks like my dog's tail after he rolled around in mud, but, uh, still cool, I guess. Just kidding, I was just trying to give you a compliment. Now buzz off! Apparently, Mickey D's didn't get the memo that people don't like clowns. Not that hard to understand, McDonald's. Nobody likes an odd-looking stranger with paint all over their face and a big red nose more suspicious than Rudolph. Because y'all already know Rudolph's super sus. Definitely on my radar. But anyways, clowns. McDonald's decided that they would put out a Happy Meal toy of the Ronald McDonald mask, which honestly is scary enough as it is already. But the worst part about it is when they would give the kids these toys, it would always be in the same bag as their McDonald's order, you know, like beside their hamburgers and stuff. And then the mask would get all greasy from the hamburger, and then the kids would put on the mask. And then you end up having all these Pennywise looking devils running around everywhere with so much grease on their face that it looks like they just got caught in the rain. Their faces be so shiny that they would look like you're looking into a mirror, cause your face reflects right back to you. Like, geez, McDonald's. Next thing you know, they're gonna be putting acne cream inside their Happy Meals and calling it slime. Weird. This is a jellyfish. And this jellyfish was supposed to be based off the movie Shark Tale. And it was also supposed to be a harmless kid's toy found inside of a McDonald's Happy Meal. Well, you know what, family? We don't always get what we want. And the parents of these kids definitely did not get what they wanted. Because when they saw this toy in their kids' hands, they found it wildly inappropriate. They thought the toy didn't look like a jellyfish and actually looked like, um, uh, uh, a guy's body part <laughs> and had no idea how this toy ever got approved to be sold. Let me remind you to children. I mean, Jay's McDonald's, you're in the food business, not the adult <clears throat> business. You know, y'all need to calm down. Another toy found in McDonald's Happy Meals was temporary tattoos. Super fun, right? You cut it out, place it on your body with a wet cloth, wait a couple seconds, and boom! Temporary tattoo that you can wash off whenever you want to get rid of it. And you're probably curious what kind of tattoos McDonald's was giving away. Giant M's, french fry ones, giant hamburger patties. 
No, none of the above. You see, now some of them did have the classic McDonald's M or the golden arches as some may say. But if you look underneath that M, you'll see that there's something super, super bad. Well, actually you can't see it because it's blurred out. But if you could see it, you would see that it says really, really mean things. Like not kind of mean, very mean. So mean that you'd probably cry mean. I don't even know exactly what it says, family, but I imagine that it says something like, I hate chicken nuggets or ice cream machine not working. You know, stuff like that. So whatever this secret message is, well, I guess I'll always be a mystery. But all I can say is, McDonald's, if you got something to say, then say it to my face. Don't be writing secret messages on kids' bodies. That's just weird. All right, family, we know some of these McDonald's Happy Meals toys have been weird, very spooky, and to be honest, kind of dangerous. But this one we're about to see is just plain cheap because apparently the team at McDonald's were thinking about their next toy and they were like, oh, I got it. Our next toy is gonna be a plastic bag. McDonald now say what? First of all, those things cost less than like one cent to make. Cheap. Second of all, plastic bags can easily come apart and the kids could eat them and possibly choke. And third of all, my favorite. Kids can put that plastic bag over their heads and also choke. Now that's my idea of fun family. Isn't it yours? Apparently this toy was supposed to be a hand puppet. You put the plastic bag on your hand and it's like, meow, 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 meow. I'm a very strange and uncomfortable toy. Ugh. I'm not sure if anyone actually got hurt by this toy. I hope not. But either way, McDonald's ended up taking it off their shelves and to be honest, kind of got canceled for it. And that, my friends, is a cancellation. Well deserved. Sorry, McDonald's, I just gotta be fair. Am I a fan of your nuggets? Sure. But am I a fan of you accidentally almost oofing some children? Yeah, no. That I have a problem with. And to be honest, you should too. Like, dude, wake up. Apparently y'all be sleeping. And the kids will be too if they keep playing with your toys. Like sleep sleeping forever. You know what I mean? Band things. You know, the stuff you once had but don't have anymore because you shouldn't have it anymore. Because it's dangerous. And that's why it's banned. But that don't stop this channel from talking about it. Oh, no, no, no. I'm spilling all the tea and all the secrets today and showing you all the toys that you shoulda, woulda, coulda played with but can't anymore. But before we start, I need you all to smash that like button right now so you don't get banned. That's right. I'm talking to you. Also, if you're not subscribed, subscribe and turn on all those post notifications and follow me on all my socials. Three, two, one, let's go. This video is a part two to other band toys videos that I did. If you haven't seen that one, go check it out. Link's gonna be in the description along with many other band videos that I did. Number eight. Battlestar Galactica. Ooh, cool, we a got spaceship. The toy here that really began the choking trend. The vehicle itself is perfect, but the problem here is pretending to be a laser torpedo. What? Some four-year-old kid shoved it down his throat, oh. possibly because he tried to swallow the whole ship. Oh. He then promptly choked to death. Mattel, the toy maker, has been sued, and as all small toys require the right sticker on them, which says, "You idiot." Don't try to eat this. Oh my God, I knew we were gonna start off a little bit crazy, but I didn't think we we're gonna start off this crazy. Oh, that poor baby boy. But he was probably just hungry and saw that big long ship and thought it was a sandwich. But that ship was so big, I don't understand how the kid would, you know, like on it. Number seven, belt guns. Oh, I can only just imagine why a belt would be a bad idea for kids. Any guesses? Children were able to replace the buckle on their belts with this contraption in the 50s, in which you thrust your stomach and a miniature pistol pops out. What the heck? It fired tiny pellets. But the issue was that it was also a cap shot. So unfortunately, some unlucky <gasps> kids had it explode in their schlong randomly. Oh. We got a name for it, and it's called Dumb Stupid. Okay, I have seen a lot of banned things lately, and I have to say that one so far took the cake. Not only are they letting kids play with toy, you know, these things actually fire, and some of them even ended up exploding right in the belt area. Number six, slip and slide. <gasps> I love this. A lot of you have played on one of these, and I it's great for one. children for the most part, unless you forgot to moisten the slide enough 
in which case it becomes a slip that you go into the hospital. Ooh. When a teenager or adult attempts to use it, the issue occurs because the slide is so short and the stop is so incredibly abrupt. <laughs> a spine injury has paralyzed a number of adults. <gasps> Take a morning to feel sad for all these ruined lives and people who died on the <gasps> slip and slide after a sloppy ride. Oh my gosh! I could vouch for this toy and say that I had it as a kid and thank gosh, no injuries were reported. But I can just imagine other people who have the same thing and they don't put enough water on and then you got your big old grandpa who just wants to get in on the fun. But little did he know, he's gonna do the biggest belly flop he's ever done in his whole life. But this time, with no water. Oh. Number five, Sky Ranger Park Flyer Radio Control Airplanes. Ooh, cool. All remote control aircraft have the ability to strike, break, or kill some elderly people. But the Sky Ranger huh? is especially hideous. The Sky Ranger would hit <gasps> oh, you it's going down. into a ball of flame. Do we just see a ball of flames? What the heck? That thing don't look small either. Eye lacerations and permanent deafness. <gasps> Instead of only hitting people and stoning them for a moment, it's a perfect way to spend a weekend. Okay, I'm no genius, but can we just look at the size of that airplane? And you're telling me that not one person who made it thought, hmm, maybe it's not a good idea for young children to be driving these things in the air Bruh. where there's a possibility for it to fly right down. But no, this toy company wanted to go one step further and put that cherry on top and make it explode too because at this point it's just so dangerous that they're just like eh, why not oh terrible number four gilbert glass blowing this In is interesting a time before toy makers developed a fully formed adult brain young boys would learn how to heat glass with no safety equipment oh. or supervision at 500 degrees celsius <gasps> no as long as you read the instruction booklet back to front you wear fireproof gloves and pray to Satan that your eyes would be shielded from searing molten heat by the flimsy plastic goggles, everything would turn out perfect, right? Okay, so I guess this one, they're trying to say that there was basically no safety precautions for this toy that got super hot, as hot as an oven. They were like, eh, you wear some cheap gloves, some cheap plastic eyes, and uh, hope for the best. Bad idea. Okay, this next one, I could not even believe my eyes. This has to be one of the craziest toys that I've ever Seen. You guys just gotta check it out. Number three, we go kite tube. Oh. An inflatable tube that would be pulled back by a boat and made to fly like a midair surfboard. A midair surfboard with kids on top. Yeah, that's right. This thing is flying in the air, attached onto a boat, and there's literally kids on top of this thing flying, holding on for dear life. Of course, it worked too well. Although it would fly 30 feet in the air, Ooh. a child would fall off, land and die on anything <gasps> in the water. The people who purchased this item were probably unaware that, that it's cool. called a jet ski. The only difference mm. is that you're not gonna fall 30 feet and die. That's really true. I mean, homie, the jet ski does the same thing, except uh, you don't gotta ruin your life if you fall off, you know? I have to say, it is very dangerous, guys, but it's kind of a cool concept. I mean, if they could find a way to make this kind of more safe, I might be down. Number two. Soccer Ooh, boppers. I had these Gotta too. Gotta get the kids ready for their glorious boxing careers. But with dumb pillow fights, we can't practice. Oh no. Mm, facts. Pillows might be fun, but uh, they don't do the job like these boxing sockums. These babies really know how to hit. But with dumb pillow fights, we can't practice. Oh no. Let's give them inflatable pain devices <laughs> and let the kids smash each other up real good. They were marketed as safe wrestling <laughs> toys but they become violent enablers very easily, dulling mm. the impact for a fist, but endlessly with all the power of a punch coming at you. Oh yeah, how did your son die again? Oh, that's right, we've bumped him to death. We've bumped his damn face off, but we've all had fun and that's what counts. I mean, no matter how soft those boxing sock and glove things are, if somebody is continuously hitting your head with it, it's gonna hurt. I can see why they banned them. Number one. Fisher Price Power Wheels Ooh, a motorcycle. motorcycle. You might say, hmm, a kid's motorcycle. What might go wrong? Mm -hmm. But it's surprisingly safe as kids just run it into oncoming traffic sometimes <gasps> because they're dumb. However, 
power wheels sometimes will suffer any driver's worst nightmare. Oh my gosh. Your kid would drive along, maybe go down a nearby hill, and unexpectedly jam his accelerator until bam, he would ride faster and faster. His bike would start flying <gasps> and he would slowly climb towards the sunset. In Ooh. reality, your kid has freaking died. And now you need to write on his tombstone, cause of death, Fisher Price toy. Okay, that just got dark. Hoverboards aren't exactly the only explosive toy in history. In the late 1990s, when nine children were burned, this iconic Fisher Price battery powered ride on was also branded a fire hazard. Oh. After 150 incidents of fires oh. and hundreds more of burning or melting parts, the company had to recall a whopping 10 million uh. kitty cars and trucks. And while they were oh sitting in abandoned garages and playrooms, some of the toys caught fire. <gasps> Fisher Price also had to note its Power Wheels Barbie Dream Camper earlier this year when 17 reports of the vehicle continued to run even after the foot pedal was released, but there were no injuries reported. Oh my god, what's up with these toy manufacturers and having their toys explode? It's like these bosses secretly hate kids or something, but that's just a conspiracy. But then my question would be this. I still see toys like that all the time in the store, except they're not motorcycles, they're cars. So isn't that kind of the exact same thing? How are the cars less dangerous than the motorcycle? I have so many questions. Oh, hey family. Don't mind me and just call me on my snack time. So I was thinking of doing a video today on some toys, but I wasn't really sure what, well, yeah. I wasn't really sure what that was him. No, I was. Huh? What are you? You can't hear me? Over all of my chewing? Well, family, I don't know what to tell you because. Mm, I'm really hungry. And I made good one. Oh, that? Yeah. You find this annoying? Well done. Hey, Fine, I'll put it away. And fine, we'll get on with the video too. <laughs> but first, tell me if I got anything in my teeth, family, I can't see. Oh, I got a little chocolate there. Okay, one sec. Mmm. <laughs> All better. Hey, family! Welcome back to Anything Alexia. My name's Alexia, and today we're gonna be looking at some other really annoying things. But not me this time. Because we're gonna be looking at some really, really annoying kids' toys. What's up, family? This year we're doing the 24 Days of Lexmas, and that means we are doing one giant giveaway every single week up until December 24. This week's prize is a Nintendo Switch. So if you wanna win that, all you gotta do is go follow my Instagram right here and then comment on my most recent picture, done. Oh, yeah, and if you're not subscribed to my YouTube, you can't win either. Happy Lexmas! This is a slingshot flying monkey, and I don't know what the heck that is. But I guess if we look closer, it's actually a monkey that turned into a slingshot because he got a stretchy rubber band for arms. Kind of creepy, but okay. So you stretch his arm like you'd stretch a giant piece of slime, aim the furry thing, and boom! He flies away just like a Nerf bullet out of a Nerf gun. But also, family, don't forget, kind of flippin' annoying! And why is he annoying, you might ask? Well, although he might look cute, he definitely don't sound cute, cause this monkey does not stop screaming the whole time that he's in the air. And I'm talking loud screaming, ugly screaming. Annoying screaming that instead of launching him in the air, you'd want to launch him into the next garbage can. Cause at this point, I'd probably prefer to play with trash. This is the toy right here and... Oh, oh, oh my gosh, what the heck? That was even worse than I thought. Okay, he's about to launch. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, boy, why are you still screaming? You already hit the ground. And not gracefully. After hitting the ground so hard, I'm surprised you're even still alive to make that noise. Alive, dead, or somewhere in between. Can you shut up now? This is the Meowsic keyboard? It looks like a piano and also like a cat, but it doesn't play like a piano and it only sounds like a cat. Mm. I don't know about you, family, but I'm not too sure how I feel about our fur-lined friends. They kind of annoy me on a good day. So to have a piano that only makes cat noises? Mmm, not too sure about this one. You gonna be playing an A, B, C, D meow with me. Oh, sorry, that wasn't me. That was just a hairball coming up. 
Because that idea sounds disgusting. But let's not judge too soon. Let's hear it live in action. Shall we? Oh, you don't want to hear it? Well, sucks to suck, family. We're going to see it anyways. Cats rules. Meow, meow, meow. Oh. Ooh. Why is that getting worse? Ah. Oh. Why is it getting so much worse? Ah. Oh, my God. Okay. No, no, no. I think that's cursed. I didn't like that at all. I'm not even too sure if that was cats meowing or some kind of cursed secret language. But that sounded evil. But then again, so are cats. So I guess the toy makes sense. This is Tickle Me Elmo, an Elmo doll that whenever you touch him in any kind of way, he starts to laugh and giggle. Because my boy's really ticklish. Like, overly ticklish. Don't get me wrong, I love Elmo just as much as the next person. But this toy kind of takes it too far. You literally poke Elmo's hand for two seconds, and then he goes on some laughing fit and won't stop for another ten minutes. Kind of annoying. It's like, Elmo, bro, the joke wasn't that funny. You can stop laughing now. Seriously. I mean, you know it's bad when the newborn baby is more calm than Elmo. Baby's just chilling there trying to have a good time while Elmo's over there flaring his arms like he's drowning in a pool of water. You're on a bed, Elmo. Calm down. The only thing you're drowning in right now is your annoying laugh. And seriously, bro, it's suffocating. Not to the mouth, though. To our ears. This is laughing Elmo in action and I want to take a listen. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Elmo chill! But he just banged his head into the table like he was bobbing his head at some rock concert! Let's keep watching to see if his head pops. Oh, you did it again? Huh? Oh, Elmo, you just fell, buddy! Oh my gosh! Oh, Elmo is reeling on that funny dude! Oh! Okay, okay, no, 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 I'm stopping this footage until it gets worse. At first, I thought Elmo just had a really silly personality, but now I think he's just kind of crazy. Elmo, maybe instead of going into different kids' homes, you should maybe take a little trip to the hospital instead. Maybe they can fix your really ticklish problem. That is, before you end up ripping off all of your skin because of it. What the heck is that? Ugh. Here we got the fun game that everybody knows, Play-Doh. This one is a specific waffle maker set. If you don't know what Play-Doh is, it's this dough that you can mold into different kinds of shapes and they have different colors and each of them have their own scent. What's annoying about that, Alexia? Play-Doh is harmless. Mm -mm -mm. You're telling me you're gonna make Play-Doh waffles, Play-Doh blueberries, Play-Doh strawberries, Play-Doh cherries, and not wanna eat them after? You know Play-Doh smells so good? You know the temptation of just popping that blueberry in your mouth and chopping it down until it goes down your throat. The struggle is real and clearly dangerous because you should not be eating Play-Doh. That's toxic. So yes, family, this is an annoying toy. If you put a waffle in front of me, I'm gonna eat it. Not play with it like Play-Doh wants us to. That's just lame. Okay, look at these cute little toys. These are called yellies. And I think they're supposed to be mini spiders or something. Or bugs. Or three-eyed raccoons. I don't know, but they're kind of cute. And they're pretty much bugs that move around on these wheels at the bottom of their feet. And these things can end up going really fast. They're kind of like your mini sidekick that will follow you around anywhere. And maybe if they're actual spiders, they can eat the little bugs in your house for you too. But the catch with this toy is that they do not move at all unless you make noise but not just any kind of noise you gotta yell at them that family because they're called yellies get it so if someone around you is playing with a toy think of it as a really long concert with someone who has a really awful voice and is also screaming their heads off at the top of their lungs hmm sounds annoying but let's see what this kid has to say <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, is that thing's going crazy! <laughs> no, 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 go quiet. <laughs> oh, yes. Nothing like teaching your kid at a very young age to absolutely scream his head off for no apparent reason. Great parenting! Or maybe you're teaching your kid early how to be a screamo band. Teaching them valuable lessons at a very young age, like how to always be heard and how to clean out your ears after they start bleeding from all that noise. Ew. Yep. They're broken. Can't hear a thing.
These are Aikiki squeaky shoes. And they're pretty much exactly what you think they are. Kids shoes at every single step you take, they make a squeaky noise. What kind of squeaky noise you say? Well, that depends on the shoes they're wearing. If it's a pig shoe, he's gonna make an oink oink. If it's a cow shoe, he's gonna make a moo moo. And if it's a drum set shoe, then uh... Yeah, you're just screwed. Because you can imagine what kind of sounds coming out of that. Not fun. Here is a little boy wearing the squeaky shoes with skulls on them. And I guess that's a sound that you're supposed to make if you oof. Because he does have a skull on them. Kind of creepy to be giving a one-year-old if you ask me. But I mean, hey, Aikiki shoes, go off. Maybe the one-year-old's into that kind of stuff. You know, like cute giraffe shirts, funny hippo pants, and deathly cursed shoes. It's called fashion. Evil baby style. I hope the baby... Maybe didn't end up in any trouble with his double shoes, but I'm thinking he either got into the trouble himself from the cursed shoes or he got into trouble from somebody else from annoying them so much. Because hearing that sound over and over again would probably make me mad too. Like, jeez, baby, go back to crawling. Who even told you to walk? <laughs> family. Yes, I know, another anything elective video that started with crying. But save it, family, because this one's serious. I was just thinking about... Oh no, here comes the tears again. <gasps> I just found out that there's such thing as Parmesan-flavored chicken nuggets at the McDonald's in Italy, and we don't have them here in America. And all of you true family members know how much I love chicken nuggets. My body only runs on two things, and that's lack of sleep and chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets are practically in my blood by now. I love them, okay? So this is a PSA to McDonald's. You've really let me down. And all of America down. I speak for the people. But enough talking about the things we don't have, and let's start talking about the things that we're happy we don't have. Because today we're gonna be exposing some of the saddest McDonald's Happy Meals ever to exist. Cause they were terrible. Like really bad. So bad it just makes you sad. Even sadder than me think about my Parmesan nuggies. Family, comment down below your favorite McDonald's Happy Meal. And also don't forget to smash like on this video and smash subscribe. Cause Ronald McDonald told you so. If not, he's gonna be hiding under your bed tonight. And you don't wanna know what happens when the lights turn off. Ugh. I'm just warning you. The first status toy is the McDonald's Halloween Pails. Don't get me wrong, family, we all love Halloween. It's practically the best holiday of the year. Oh wait, no, Christmas, Thanksgiving. Okay, it's one of the best holidays of the year. And what's the best part of it? The candy, of course. So when people found out that McDonald's was doing a Halloween-themed toy, they were obviously excited. What's it gonna be, a toy car filled with candy inside? A doll holding a lollipop? But no, not even close. McDonald's idea of fun was a bucket. Yeah, they got orange buckets, white buckets, green buckets. But McDonald's, we don't care what color the buckets are. Heck, I don't even care if there's a peanut butter colored bucket. It's still a bucket. And you might be like, Alexia, hold on. It might be a bucket, but obviously there's some Halloween candy inside. No family, nothing. No candy. No toy, just a bucket. McDonald's literally missed the most fun part of Halloween. Everybody else will be eating their candy at the end of the night when McDonald's employees, they're gonna be staring at their bucket. I think so too. The next sad McDonald's Happy Meal is called Mickey D's Step It. And if you think it kind of looks like a Fitbit, you're right. This is a kid's version of a step counter that counts all of the steps that you take in a day. And if that sounds boring to you, you ain't the only one. McDonald's, I don't care about how many steps I take. The only time I care is when I'm stepping my way over to the fridge for some dessert. And in that case, I want to take less steps, not more. If I take too long, my brother will eat all the brownies. You won't even leave me one. Not only is this a boring toy, but it's also a very dangerous toy because over 70 kids ended up complaining that their wrists got burnt from it? The heck, McDonald's? I get you're trying to make us burn some calories. You don't gotta burn my wrist too. That's just savage. 101 Dalmatians was a popular Disney movie about 101 really cute dogs. So when the movie came out, McDonald's also came out with a Happy Meal about it. Literally with every single dog from the movie. Yeah, 101 different kind of toys. 101 really cute dogs. This is probably one of the coolest McDonald's Happy Meals that I've ever seen. Except there's one problem. Actually, 101 problems. Because when it came out, everybody of course wanted to collect 
every single kind of dog. They wanted to flex the whole set. What could they say? That would bring you major screech cred at the schoolyard. Popular cheerleaders who? I want to be friends with the guy with the Dalmatian. But you see, family, only one dog came with every Happy Meal. So to collect the whole set? That would mean you would have to buy over 101 Happy Meals in the span of a couple months that they had the toys out. And even if you got 101 different meals, that might not even mean that you would get the full set because doubles? Duh! You get a random dog every time. I like my chicken nuggets as much as the next dude, but chicken nuggets pancakes for breakfast, chicken nuggets burgers for lunch, chicken nuggets smoothies for dinner every single day. Ugh! I can't do that. Not even for 101 cute puppies. And I would do a lot for 101 cute puppies. Like a lot. Y'all don't want to see how far I'd go. I can get pretty savage. Hello Kitty whistles. Now this one sounds pretty cool. It's a Hello Kitty doll that opens up and inside is a whistle. So not only do you get a cute Hello Kitty doll to play with, you also get a toy to annoy your parents with too. It's a win-win. Except for the fact that these whistles, uh, yeah, how can I say this, uh, they end up choking people. Yeah. Some of the small plastic pieces inside of the whistle to make the whistle make the sound it fell out and landed in the kids mouth and uh yeah they couldn't breathe mcdonald's you out here trying to oof some kids now yeah that happy meal don't sound too happy anymore does it the next saddest mcdonald's happy meal toy is uh you know a toothbrush apparently it's a big problem to try and get your kids to brush their teeth sometimes so mcdonald's thought that they were doing a good thing by helping out the parents and putting a ronald mcdonald's shaped toothbrush in every happy meal perfect plan right wrong you telling me a kid's going all the way to mcdonald's eats their whole happy meal and then reaches their hand in that bucket to get their toy and a toothbrush y'all giving me a toothbrush you ain't serious oh yeah mcdonald's was serious and uh kids weren't happy like they were pissed like pissed pissed so pissed that mcdonald's had to stop selling these toothbrushes at their restaurant because the kids would get so mad in these mcdonald's at their parents and then the parents would get mad at the mcdonald's employees like a circle of life an evil mcdonald's circle of life good job mcdonald's you pissed off the kids and guess what they still got stanky breath Spider-Man themed Happy Meals. Sounds cool, right? After the release of a new Spider-Man movie, McDonald's came out with a Spider-Man themed Happy Meal for boys and girls. Except instead of selling the same toys for both of them, they decided it was a good idea to come out with a boys version of Spider-Man toys and a girls version of Spider-Man toys. The boys Spider-Man toys has Spider-Man action figures, Spider-Man cars, Spider-Man trading cards, and the girls Spider-Man toys, Spider-Man themed purse, Spider-Man themed bracelets and Spider-Man themed makeup? Huh? Since when did Spider-Man wear any of those things? And why do the boys get all the fun toys and the girls just get superficial things to wear on their body? That's not fun! I mean, I guess Spider-Man wears a mask and maybe a little bit of makeup to hide his face. But I'm sure Spidey's idea of fun is not playing with his mask on his time off. He's trying to ride his Spidey truck and do some loop-de-loops. That's the real fun. And this Happy Meal toy has to take the cake for the creepiest one of them all. Everybody loves Ronald McDonald. He's the beloved mascot of McDonald's. The Golden Arches. The Golden Boy. So McDonald's thought it would be a great idea to make a mask of Ronald McDonald's. McDonald and yeah, it didn't work out so well. See, Ronald McDonald has bright red hair, red nose, and a red mouth, you know, because he's a clown. And although people like Ronald, kids generally don't really like clowns so much. Because they creep me. And when McDonald's made this toy, yep, you guessed it, very creepy. The mask looked like it was something that came straight out of a horror movie. Like something you'd wear if you were in the movie The Perch. So these kids would put on these masks and not only did it scare their parents, but it also scared the other kids when they would see them. I don't know about you, but I'm not trying to go in McDonald's and see hundreds of kids wearing creepy clown masks. I don't even trust regular clowns. You think I'm gonna trust McDonald's kids clowns with bellies full of chicken nuggets? Yeah, I don't think so. I'd rather trust my blind dog giving me directions to Africa. Wait, do y'all know if they got a McDonald's there? Because if so, that's a chance I'm willing to take. Anything for nuggies.
But anyways, family, that is all of the saddest McDonald's Happy Meals that I have for you today. If you liked today's video, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you want to help us reach to 1 million subscribers by the end of this year, smash subscribe and turn on all post notifications so you won't miss any of our videos. Also, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram right down here. I love you all so much. And I'll see you all in the next video.